All right, everyone. Today we have a question from one of our listeners. Uh, he says, hope all is well. Whenever you have a time, can you help me figure something out in Excel? If I have three columns, fruit, color, and size. Okay, fruit, color, and size. I want to know how to change the option in color and size depending on the fruit selected. I know how to do it using indirect formula, but I can only use it for one, not two. I tried YouTube and looked online, couldn't find anything. Okay, well, now it's going to be on YouTube. So here it goes. Um, let's say, and, and, and let's, uh, let's say this is my sheet with my information. <clears throat> okay. And so what he's saying is that he wants a drop down here which lists the fruits that he cares about. That's a relatively simple thing to do. We go over to data <clears throat> and we go to data validation. We go over here, we say list, and then we're gonna give it a source, but we haven't created a source yet. So let me cancel that for now. I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna put my reference. <clears throat> so when, <clears throat> Excuse my spelling. So when you're doing these drop down tables, you're going to need um, store this information somewhere. What's the valid information here? So fruits, we have apple, orange, pear. Okay. So fruit. I'm going to go back here. This is how you make your first drop down. This is relatively simple. And he goes to list. I say my source and I want my source to be my reference here. Okay. Simple enough. Um, okay. <clears throat> and now you see that when I click the drop down here, um, I'll be able to select one of these apple, orange, or pear. Okay. Color and size. So he mentioned a keyword here, which we're definitely going to use, which is the indirect. So what that allows us to do is access, um, a named, um, a named value. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, we have these fruits, these the colors and size. So I'm going to create a reference, which is an apple color, apple size, orange color, orange size, pear color, pear size. So what I'm going to do first, and this is only for my own good because I'll show you what we're going to do next here. So we're going to say, okay, apple can be red, orange. Nope. Can it be orange? Nope. Uh, green, yellow, gold. I don't know. Pick your favorite apple size. I'm going to say apples come in small, medium, large. Okay. I'm going to give it all three sizes, orange color, orange. That's it. Orange size. I'm going to say oranges come in medium only. And I'll do that just to um, so that we can make sure things are working. A pear is going to come in green and um, maybe yellow. Okay. And pear, I'm going to make pear medium and large. So that data validation doesn't allow us to do um, a VLOOKUP. Otherwise, I would have set this table up or this information up in a different way. But what it allows us to do is use a named range. So what I'll do now, and the name range is basically what I've done here. Is I've created these columns that have this information. But I am actually going to define a name for them. So I'm going to say this thing right here. I'm going to define the, the name apple color. This right here is my apple 
size and you see at the bottom right here I'm selecting it so it refers to all of that so whenever I use the name Apple size it refers to all three items there orange color I'm going to define the name orange color Again, I'm going to do this and you can imagine this is not very efficient but if you're using Excel in this way and this is what you want this is the way to go pair color take it from uh, one of our listeners who looked online and did not find it so hopefully this does the trick for him Okay, so I've named all those ranges. Okay, so let's go back and let's use that keyword that he mentioned before. So I'm going to select Apple and here obviously I haven't done anything. So I'm going to go over to color and I'm going to say define. I'm going to say over to data. Data validation. I'm going to allow a custom. And I'm going to allow something custom and I'm going to indirect it. So by using the indirect uh, command here, I can actually provide, if I provide the the name of uh, my, um, um, the range of that variable that I set before, I will get the value. So I can say apple color. <clears throat> okay. And let's see if that works. And that, let's see. That is that does not work let me go back to see why did that not work indirect apple color and it shows me what apple color will be okay oh i said formula i meant to do list here I'm going to do that and you see that it pops down the list. Okay. Um, but there's a problem here, right? If I say apple color, then if I pick orange, it'll still give me all the apple colors. So I have to do a slightly different thing here. I'm going to go back data validation and I want it to indirect, but I want it to indirect based on what I selected. So what I can go back to is say, okay, a2 is what I've selected, right? So I want to take that value, A2, and I'm going to add that value or concatenate that, excuse me, not add that value because add is not the right word here, but I'm going to concatenate that value. Concatenate. So I'm going to take that word orange and I'm going to concatenate it with color, the word color. And now, if I select orange, it's going to look for the orange color name range. If I let select apple, it'll look for the apple color name range. So it may, may make, make more sense why I named the things. Okay, so that seemed to work. Let me change that to pear and pear, green or yellow. Let me change that back to apple. And over here, again, we would do the same thing we did uh, on the other side. Uh, except now we're going to name that slightly differently. Again, I'll go here, allow a list. And my list is going to be based on my indirect. So I'm going to use that name range. I'm going to concatenate A2 with a size. Small, medium, large is what I selected for Apple. Orange, medium and pair medium large all right uh thanks all for listening that's how to do drop downs in excel um using indirect um, and some data validation uh, if you have any questions and you want to reach out uh, you can email me at a subtle mind at gmail.com uh, that's a s u b t l e m i n d at gmail.com Thanks for listening.